Do an overview on brass lubricants. Try to control your excitement. Uh, let's start with trumpet. We'll start at the top of the brass family. So uh, our favorite uh, valve oils for brass instruments, this would really be any valve instrument, uh, is Hetman. And Hetman makes a synthetic oil, really, really high quality synthetic oil, and they come in different viscosities. Okay, so you get lubricant one, lubricant two. Um, lubricant one is lighter. As you go up in numbers, the, the oil gets kind of heavier. Why does that matter? On brand new trumpets with very tight tolerances, this light piston oil will help the valves to uh, go work faster and smoother. As an instrument ages, though, uh, the valves become a little looser and there's some wear. And the thicker uh, viscosities will kind of help to... Um, uh, uh, fill in the gaps there and allow it to the oil to last longer and to work better. Um, so that's the Hetman. We also carry the standard for valve oil for trumpets is Alcast Fast. It's a fine oil, nothing wrong with it. Um, we still prefer the, the Hetman, but Alcast is okay. Uh, Blue Juice is another popular oil. Blue Juice is known to be very light um, and very quick but it also doesn't usually last very long, so it has to be reapplied pretty often. But some people are willing to make that trade for very fast valves. The lens oil is really pretty nice. I've used this as well. Um, uh, it works well. It seems to last pretty long, but it has a pretty strong smell, which some people may find unappealing, but it lasts long and is quick. So um, that's pretty good. The Nomad valve oil, <clears throat> um, we all love these guys from Music Nomad. <clears throat> so um, their stuff is really good. It's a synthetic, kind of like the uh, the Hetman, and uh, but it, it lasts a long time and it's odor free as well. This is probably be my second choice for valve oil. Um, for slide greases, for, for like trumpet tuning slides and stuff like that, there's a few different choices. Uh, you've got the space filler tuning slide grease, and this is just a a very thick lubricant that. Um, goes on to the slide, the third valve slide, the first valve slide, and the tuning slide. But this Bell Super Grease is really cool. <clears throat> and the thing with Bell's, you, you take this thing off and it's kind of like a fingernail polish thing. There's a little brush, I think you can see that in there. And you can apply it to the instrument that way, which I think is a little easier and interesting. So there's that. And then uh, let's talk for trombones. With trombones, you can use a couple things. You can use like a, a valve oil or something like that. Sometimes with beginners, we'll do that. Um, but really what's better for trombones is to use a, a tuning slide grease. Um, the, the Yamaha is, is fine. Um, uh, uh, if you have something from Super Slick, um, here we go, like this Super Slick trombone cream. This is great. The Trombotine is a long-lasting well-known thing. Uh, this t uh, The T-slide stuff from Nomad is really cool. Basically, um, some of these are a thick cream, like almost like a paste, that you slide on to the very end of the stockings of a, a trombone slide. So you basically take the slide almost all the way off, rub uh, about a finger full of the stuff on there, and then pull, put the slide on and work it a little bit so that you the cream gets evenly distributed. And then you take a, uh, a water bottle like this, and spray the, the inner slide with some water to make it fast. So the creams do a pretty good job of that, um, but uh, or like the paste type things. But these things, these are more of kind of a lubricant. They're kind of a hybrid between the water and the, the creams, and they're even faster. So they make the uh, slide feel even faster than, uh, than the normal creams. So uh, most players I know today use this type of stuff. Uh, I kind of forgot French horns. Let's go back. Uh, with that, you have rotor oil. Um, and again, for that, I'd recommend the Hetman stuff. Um, synthetic. It's really long-lasting. Same deal coming in different weights. Um, and let's see. Uh, oh, and then um, another thing for trombone. Sorry to bounce around. But the Slido mix here, this is a kit. And this is like kind of a famous selection for pro players. Uh, you get this, which is like the initial cream that goes on, and this is like the, like the, a couple of drops of this make it super fast. There's instructions on the back explaining how to do it. But that and a water bottle um, will make trombone slides feel fantastic. So moving on from lubricants into some other stuff, we've got um, a few other cleaning supplies. 
That thing is called a snake, and we make them in different sizes for both trumpet and trombone. Trumpet can be used on the French horn, and the trombone can be used on uh, baritone and euphonium. That basically is just designed to snake out all the pizza and cookies and stuff from kids' horns. Uh, then over here we have a valve casing brush. This is for when you take the valves out of a trumpet you can and take the bottom caps off. You can use that to clean out the casing, get all the boogers out. Brass mouthpiece brush, same thing, but for the brass mouthpiece. These cloths, this is really important. The cloth on the left, if you see it says a lacquer cloth, that's just a nice soft lint-free cloth designed to polish and uh, you know wipe off an instrument. Um, on the gray cloth, I'll come back to that in a minute, I'll show you what that does. On the yellow cloth, it's a silver cloth. The entire cloth is treated, has kind of a polishing compound in there. Only use that on silver plated instruments that don't have lacquer over the top. So most instruments that we have that are silver plated won't have lacquer. That's the cloth you use for that. Um, this thing is sort of like the valve casing brush, but you put a rag in the bottom of it and take the valves out of a trumpet, you can clean it. The chop saver is like lip stuff for uh, brass players and um, it's kind of like Burt's Bees or something like that, but it's got all kinds of good stuff in there for brass players. Um, let's see, went over all that stuff. Let's go look at um, the care cloth. So here's an example of that polished cloth. And what you'll see is there's a couple layers to it. On this inside layer here, it's the innermost layer. So you can see there's that and this inner layer. On this inner layer, this is treated. So there's a silver polish compound in here. You use this to kind of wipe off all their fingerprints and everything onto the instrument. So any grime or fingerprints or whatever, you use this to wipe it off. And then you use this layer here to buff it out. And you always basically want to hold the cloth from the outside like that, and you really don't want to touch the inside because that's where the compound's at. But you use this to polish it out and to make it look beautiful and shiny. So treated, not treated for buffing. There you go.